It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com and the 24-hour dial-in message line 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Panthers basketball off to a good swing of things, taking care of Southern, both men and women. They'll do battle with Gramlin on tonight. The Super Bowl. I'll kind of give my take on the Super Bowl on what I thought. Not that it really matters, but I will share that. And a whole lot more when we return. Well, first, I'll take a quick break and we'll be back with today's episode. The voice of student athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Helping Hands Lawn Service, the Hotline Press Newspaper of Hempstead, Texas. Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Open Mic Broadcast Network. You get some insights on some other productions that we do here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network and a whole lot more. As we may mention, the Panthers victorious on the hardwood over the Southern Jaguars on Saturday, still trying to climb from the cellar are the Panthers on both the men and women's side. As we may mention, if they can make position for the tournament qualifications, and I think they'll be okay. But sometimes it's, as they say, not easy staying at the top at all times with the success that the men have had. And, of course, Sandy Pugh still trying to get her groove together now in her fourth season on the heel. So we'll keep a monitor on that. We'll be having Coach Petaway coming up sometime this week to kind of break down somewhat of the first half of the basketball season just to get ourselves lined up for swag tournament play, which will be in Birmingham, Alabama in March. Meanwhile, there was a Super Bowl. And the Los Angeles Rams, of course, were the last team standing beating the Cincinnati Bengals by the score of 23 to 20. And although this game was competitive and I projected that the Rams would win by three, I actually said 27, 24, 27, 23, something to that nature. But um, it came out the way pretty much I expected. But there was something about this Super Bowl that seemed empty. And I can't quite put my finger on it. As I mentioned, as you listen to the broadcast on NBC, and I know they were preoccupied with the Olympics and everything, but something seemed to be missing. Uh, The halftime show was uh, entertaining and unique. First time there was a hip-hop performance at the Super Bowl halftime. I thought that was pretty cool. But it, it was something about this Super Bowl And I cannot quite put my finger on it. Maybe if you guys uh, feel what I feel, experience what I experience, but it seemed kind of boring. And I'm not sure why that is. As we mentioned, I wanted a a competitive game, and we actually had that. Uh, Cooper Cuff becomes MVP, but you easily could have given it to Aaron Donald 
with the performance that he had, maybe make them co-MVPs or something of that nature. Uh, but overall, there was something missing in that game. And I'm still baffled and scratching my head behind that. Maybe you guys can help me see the light. Drop a comment on the section of the Open Mic Broadcast Network YouTube channel. Or you can leave a message on the 24-hour message line, 713-570-6736. The Panthers will do battle with the Gramlin Tigers, men and women. And hopefully the Panthers can be on the start of a good streak. It's always good to take care of the Louisiana swing. Make sure you're holding things down. You got one down and one to go. And speaking of going, I must exit stage left. My time is far spent for right now. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Open Mic Broadcast Network. I'm going to shut it down for right now, but until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.